here's a great tip if you're ever going to replace a sky. So check it out here. I've got a layer inside of Photoshop where I've added a different sky. You can see that's before, that's after. All right. Now, as I look at the blues, you can kind of see this is kind of a lighter blue. This one's a little bit of a darker blue. You can reduce the opacity of that layer and that'll help blend it in a little bit. But another great tip for you is double click on the layer. It opens up the layer style dialog box. If you go down here to the bottom to underlying layer, hold down your option or alt key. And if you click on that slider, it splits them. If I just click on it, it doesn't split them, right? I gotta hold down the option or alt key and click on it and it splits them. And if you look at the blues inside the photo, see how they start to fade a little bit? So I can actually change what's visible in this layer just by spreading some of those sliders out and creating more of a gradual change between the two. So it's a little bit different from opacity. It's not just on or off. It'll actually blend certain colors based on whatever's on top of each other in the layers panel. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the tip and do me a big favor. If you like these videos, just click on subscribe up here and that way you don't have to search around for them. They'll get delivered right to you.